Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Must Know 3 TSM Images. This is Dr. Neha. So just before we begin, a uh, little heads up for all of you. We've started a FMG batch on an academy platform. So if you want, you can subscribe and use my code PSM Life and get a 10% off. So what is this first image for the day? Yes, what is this? This is a forest plot, everybody. And where is a forest plot constructed? Forest plot is constructed in a meta-analysis. What does this forest plot represent? This represents the overall effect size, overall effect size. Or you could also say the pooled effect, right? This is demonstrated by a diamond. Suppose I want to study in this, I'm studying about various risk factors and its association with breast cancer. So in one study, Smith et al. say I'm studying risk factor 1, which is let's say age. In Jones et al. I'm studying risk factor 2, let's say smoking. In the third one, I'm studying risk factor 3, let's say alcohol. In the fourth one, I'm studying risk factor 4, let's say <clears throat> diet. And in the fifth, I'm studying, let's say, socioeconomic status. So I want to see whether these factors are significantly associated with breast cancer or not. So for that, I'm going to first look at this confidence interval. So if your confidence interval, the golden rule is, if confidence interval, if confidence interval includes one, this implies result is not statistically significant okay if it includes one it's not statistically significant that's the first thing that you have to do so look at the first one age suppose we were studying age it includes one in the interval okay so not significant look at the next one jonas et al this also includes one in the interval so not significant Look at this one, third one, 0 0.9 to 3.2, not significant. Now look at the fourth one. When you are studying, let's say diet, the value is, the confidence interval is 1.9 to 2.7. So this does not include one. So when the CI does not include one, it means it is statistically significant. All right, once you've concluded that it is statistically significant, you will look at the OR value or even if it was given RR value, the approach would be the same. So look at the OR value over here. It's more than 2.3. So OR when it is more than 1, it means positive association. OR equal to 1 means no association. And OR less than 1 means negative or inverse. So here it is more than 1. So that means this risk factor 4, which we have studied in NG et al, is a risk factor. Similarly, look at the last one where you are studying socioeconomic status. The interval is 1.8 to 2.5. So, 1 is not included. So, it is statistically significant and it is OR is more than 1. So, it is a risk factor. If suppose there was another study and the value was let's say 0.9 and over here let's say the value or let's say 0.8 and 0.2 to 0.9. So if you look at the CI, it does not include 1, it is statistically significant, but OR is less than 1. So this could have become a protective factor. Got it everyone? So over here, the overall effect of these risk factors on breast cancer is given by this diamond. So if you look over here, is it statistically significant? Yes, does not include 1 and this value is more than 2. So overall, the effect of these risk factors on breast cancer is statistically significant. Please remember, forest plot is not drawn for a systematic review. It is only drawn in case of a meta-analysis and the other name for this is a blobogram. Let's go to the next image for the day. What is this? This is asked in NEAT PG also. This one, this one, what is this? Yes, so this one is a vaginal sponge. Okay, so it is a barrier method of contraception. This is also vaginal sponge, okay, and it includes a spermicide also. All right, so what you have to know, it comes by the name of today. It combines barrier and spermicidal method to prevent contraception. You are asked, what is the spermicide non-oxenyl 9? It is inserted vaginally prior to intercourse. You have to place it over the cervix. Can be left up to 6 hours after ejaculation. Max, you can leave up 
to max you can leap up to 24 hours beyond this if you forget to take it out it leads to toxic shock syndrome plus it does not offer any protection from sti and also increases the risk of eastern uti failure rate particularly it's so much in case of <clears throat> primary paris woman all right okay what is this Similarly, this one over here is another thing which is known as diaphragm, okay. This over here is a diaphragm. This is made up of silicone. You can have a look over here. This is soft latex or silicone dome if you get that picture. Diaphragm is inserted. Everything is almost the same like that of a vaginal sponge, okay. And even diaphragm can be left up to 24 hours but beyond that, it leads to toxic shock syndrome. The failure rate of diaphragm is little less than vaginal sponge. Let's go to a very important question for the day. What does this life cycle represent? So just I'll just give you a basic summation of life cycles. A mosquito, a water bird and a pig. Very correct. This is Japanese encephalitis. Waterfowl or an ardite birds are the natural reservoirs. This mosquito, Japanese encephalitis ke liye, what is the vector? Culex. Culex tritinio rhynchus or Culex vishnui. And pigs over here are the amplifier host. So if you see in an, any image, you see mosquito and you see a bird and you see pigs, it is Japanese encephalitis. This alone can come to you. This is an ardite bird. This is the natural host. Okay. Now, what is this? If you see a bat with a chimpanzee, okay, this is the life cycle of Ebola. All right. The case fatality could be 45 to 90 percent. All right. Okay, and for J, the case fatality rate is 30%. But if you have a bat, all right, and a pig, but no chimpanzee, here this is Nipah, all right, from <clears throat> infected fruit bats, it can spread. This one can be the image of you have a rodent with a urine infection, all right, which is the rodents are being released in the urine, contaminating water, soil, and mud. This is leptospirosis. You can get this image also. Spread of leptospirosis. So this is the life cycle that came exactly in our AIMS exam. All those who are going for rafting and all those can get exposed to leptospira interrogants. And last but not the least, this is the image of trombiculid mite. Okay, and this one, this is the life cycle of trombiculid mite. Okay, so this was a short session today. Thank you so much for watching.